What's up, guys? This is Sim with Vengeance, and I am back here with the boys of Bur from Birmingham. Wow, undefeated, number one in the country, and seven and zero facing the one and seven Washington State Cougars. We haven't faced Washington State in this dynasty since year one, and it's going to be kind of interesting how this game's going to work out because uh, you know Washington State has not been very good in this dynasty for a while. Oh well. I wouldn't say a long time, but it's been a couple years since they've been relevant in this series. So, if you look at the overwhelming statistics here, um, we kind of dominate them in every statistic. Uh, <laughs> uh, they're dead last in turnover differential. They have, they do have a decent passing offense. I will say that. Dead last in the run. Uh, dead last in total defense. Number one, number one defense versus dead last. I've never seen that before. Oh my god. It's it's gonna get ugly, I think. So if you guys are excited for this blowout that's about to ensue, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, subscribe for more content. I'm just just chalk this one up as a win. It, it, just stay to see how badly I blow these guys out. Honestly. Uh, and I, this could be me getting cocky, and then you never know. I could actually kind of choke this game away. You never know. Um, still fighting for college football supremacy here. As, you know, we're catching up on these recruits that I would like to catch up on. And we're doing that quickly and swiftly. Um... Jumped the boat here on Jared Carter. Got a lot of good recruits here now that we're starting to catch up on some of these guys. All you got to do is keep winning. And more people will want to come to your school. That's all there is to it in this game. Um, top 25 polls. We have a bit of a shakeup. Texas lost to TCU. And that makes me so happy. Oh my goodness. Uh, number one is us. Number two is South Carolina. Number three is USC. Number four is Stanford. Number five is Georgia. Number six is Virginia. Number seven, California. Number eight, Texas. Number nine, Oklahoma. Number 10, Georgia Tech. Number 11, Miami. Number 12, Texas Christian. They've been really jumping the polls. It's kind of crazy. Uh, number 13, Auburn. Number 14, Tennessee. Number 15, Michigan. Number 16 is Florida. And they only lost one spot even after getting their butts totally reamed by us. Number 17, Navy. Uh, number 18, Nebraska. Number 19, um, Flor uh, Florida State. Number 20 is uh, Washington. Number 21, Alabama. Number 22 is Virginia Tech. Number 23 is Ole Miss. Number 24 is Baylor. Number 25 is Air Force. Other receiving votes. Oh my God! Number is NC State, Texas A&M, LSU, Indiana, Pittsburgh, Minnesota, Colorado, Clemson, and Bowling Green. NC State, A&M, Clemson, and Fresno State have all dropped out of the top 25. So now that we're getting deep into the season, we can take a look at these conference standings and see where everybody's at. Um, in the middle of this crazy football season um, Florida State and Miami tied for the Atlantic uh, Pittsburgh and Virginia pretty neck and neck for the Coastal uh, Division uh, Pitt's not really getting any love in the polls um, they're not in the top 25 yet they're 6-2 and two. have they even beaten anybody um, not really um, they've beaten a couple of um, well, I don't, they, don't even have a, they don't even have a win against a team that's above 500, so that kind of just shows that they're medi mediocre. Although they are beating them pretty handily in most cases. Uh, they did win a couple of tough road games against um, Notre Dame and North Carolina, but then they lost to Georgia State. And so that's where I think they kind of lost it, and they lost to North Carolina State at home. Um... American East goes to uh, South Florida, number four, and the West is SMU and Tulsa. In the Big 12 North, you have Kansas at 4-4. Four four. Kansas is looking more relevant. It's crazy. 
Number and then in the south it is Baylor now after their win and they continue to win uh, over you know a lot of these schools here. Texas, man, it just it just goes to show that one loss could be really detrimental. Baylor could run the t table in the Big Twelve. Uh, Michigan lost to um, Indiana, so which means the Big Ten, uh, Big Ten leaders is wide open. Big Ten legends uh, belongs to Iowa and Nebraska. Iowa's getting no love whatsoever. Uh, they lost to Iowa State. They lost to uh, Florida State, but they've won every game since. Um, not against very good teams. They've beaten a pretty decent Wisconsin squad, and um, they did beat uh, Northern uh, Northwestern. Uh, but their schedule hasn't really looked... They kind of have a cupcake schedule outside of the their first two games. And even then, Iowa State's a, cu a, it's a cupcake game. So they kind of looked bad against Iowa State. So that's why they're not anywhere near the top 25. Conference USA East belongs to Old Dominion. Uh, Conference USA West belongs to North Texas. MAC East belongs to three different teams. We got Bowling Green, Ohio, and Miami. The West looks like it's controlled by Central Michigan. In the Mountain West Wet Mountain Conference, Utah State Mountain West West belongs to Fresno State and BYU. Pac-12 North is Cal. Pac-12 South is USC. Although Colorado has potential to make something happen if they continue to win, uh, they have a they have a really good offense, so that that could help them go deep into the season. Uh, considering their schedule too, they have UCLA, Hawaii. Uh, Arizona State, Arizona, and Utah. All teams below or at or well, four wins or less. Arizona's the team only only team that is above 500. But we'll see when that time comes if they actually are at that point. Um, SEC East belongs to Georgia, although Florida and South Carolina can still make their case uh, because they only have one loss still. And South Carolina is the number two team in the country, so I think they have the best chance. SEC West belongs to Auburn, although um, Ole Miss and Alabama still have time to turn it around. I don't think they will. Uh, considering that Alabama has been outscored by their opponents overall this season, they've escaped with these little victories here. Uh, Five-point victory against Indiana, uh, three-point victory against Mississippi, and only a nine-point victory against uh, Arkansas on the road. And they their only blowout win is against Purdue. And that's not really saying much. Uh, they've gotten beaten pretty bad against South Carolina and Tennessee. So it really depends. SEC, uh, no, Sunbelt East is held by UMass. Maryland and Rutgers and Wake Forest are doing pretty well for themselves. Um... Although I think I think this is the conference for them because they're just they're not very good teams. Rutgers has no defense, so that's why they're kind of hindered by the fact that they're four and three. Um, they beat teams like they beat these teams pretty handily. They barely beat Maryland. Uh, they lose to Wake Forest and LSU, uh, and they get slaughtered by New Mexico State um, in the West. Um, that belongs to UL Lafayette, Arkansas State. Troy could make some noise if they continue to win. So could New Mexico State. But I feel like these two teams have it on lockdown at this point. Um, so we'll see. We will see. And the Heisman watch, I'm kind of disappointed by this. But this gives me the opportunity to go out and just ball out with Wesley Thompson. No questions asked. I'm going to throw like 100 touchdown passes today. Not actually get 100 touchdown passes. Maybe get 100 points, but definitely not get 100 touchdown passes. But... With that being said, we're going to Pullman, Washington today to take on the Cougars in another West Coast trip. I will see you guys on the field, and it should be a good one. And we are underway here from Pullman as we are going to receive the kickoff as Ingram didn't even get it to the end zone. Oh, oh, hi, 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 hi. No, please don't do that. All right, so it's raining. So the weather is going to be a little bit of a factor, hopefully not too much. But we'll see. Weeks. But the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well. Oh, Rashawn Chase, first down. Already going after it. Just going to go straight after them. They can't stop me.
Oh my God, Wesley! Or no, no, that wasn't even Wesley. That was that was Rashawn. He he got it. Dylan Sears. Oh my God! First down again. That safety blitzing just cost them because they're they're sending too many guys at once. Oh, Jermaine McAfee. There you go. Doing good things on this drive. First and goal. Touchdown. That was easy. Continue to do what we've been doing. Hold up. They're running? Hold up. They're actually running the football. That's the quarterback's name. Love it. Hi. Puns. Hup. Oh, come on, Goodman. You got to stay on him. Stop these kind of offenses that actually throw the ball downfield. What are we doing, defense? What are we doing? Running back just <laughs> stiff-armed my dude all the way to the ground for no effort whatsoever. Baloney. Hey, you have two defenders right there. Why are we not? Oh my god. I'm telling you. This is what this is going to be one of those games. Oh my. F wow. You got to be kidding me. They actually stopped me. First drive is gone. Are you kidding me? Hey, Har Harrington, how about covering the freaking guy? Would that does that sound nice to you or what? Are you kidding me? What is going on? Don't even be proud of yourself, defense. This is garbage. We're losing 10 to 7 to the number. I'm telling you, this. All right, now, now it's for, now it's time to get real. Go with the best option there. First and goal, baby. Rashawn Chase. There we go. Dude, Henryton, Henry Harrington, you're about to get benched because you're playing so damn poorly. There we go. There we freaking go. Don't you try me. Pick six. I want you in the faces of these dudes right here. All right, there we go, D. Let's go. Illinois destroyed Iowa. Good God. Big first down again. I'm telling you, I'm coming. Did y'all listen to me? Nah. Touchdown, Jermaine McAfee. Next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Quick throw. And he's got the junior. Oh my God, you got to be kidding me. Come on. Defense, what are you doing today? They did something like a screen pass here. Wouldn't be surprised. Into the halfback on the 
And they're not even in field goal range. Even though I totally predicted the screen pass they had, the I, I couldn't get past that line. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. First and 10, 23 yard pickup. Oh crap. That was a dangerous pass. Oh my god, he cut off the pass. <sighs> Fucking crazy. Oh, intercepted by Tommy Dunn. He's taken down right around the 46 yard line. I want to assert my dominance. Intercepted. What a grab. Was that a one handed interception? Oh my god. Right into his hands. Could not be stopped. Can't stop, won't stop. Wide open. <sighs> Thank you. Good night. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. Um, nope. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Come on, D. You gotta come up and make these plays. You gotta come up and cover these guys. You can't just let them go. Intercepted. Don't try me. Don't try me on that screen pass. You know that's a no no. Oh, Ben, come on. You can catch. Um, you got to catch those. Come on, Ben. The butter. You dropped your wholesome breakfast. Underneath throw? I like that. The middle of the field is wide open. Oh, perfect. Touchdown. Rashawn Chase. And no thank you. Lonnie Wallace with the deflection. Good job, D. Nobody's open. Like, what do you want me to do? 55-10. Yeah, I'll get the kicker some reps. He doesn't get very many chances anyway. Five wide. Here we go. Come on, D. Come on. Freaking tackle him! There's no reason for that! Letting him go There's like this. This should not happen. We're the number one defense in the country. And we get Barrett bailed out again to turnovers. Oh, uh, hey, whatever we gotta do to keep ourselves below the average. Oh, touchdown. Are you serious right now? Come on, guys. Tackle the guy. There's no reason for these 27-yard gains. Quick out 
Oh, man, he didn't even get it. Are they just going to take the points or are they going to go for it? They're probably going to go for it. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. We get bailed out again. Yeah, they only needed a few yards here to keep the drive alive. Great job by the defense to shut them down. Defense bails out again. The defense bails itself out again somehow. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Touchdown. That is your final score, ladies and gentlemen. UAB 69. Washington State 10. We had a career day with Wesley Thompson. Seven touchdown passes. And another blowout victory. Um, so it seems like we do like these. I don't know. We're keeping up with the status quo of holding our opponent to under 10 points now, it seems like. Or 10 points or less. So it's kind of odd seeing, you know... This kind of level of play, I've never seen. I've never been able to do anything like this before, but it's been crazy. Uh, so we'll see what we can do next week. I knew this was going to be a blowout, but uh, to the extent of the degree, I kind of got a little frustrated with my defense, considering that we were giving up too many good, pa uh, too many passing plays. But the defense was also opportunistic in getting turnovers, and we got a few breaks ourselves uh, on a couple of plays. So if you guys enjoyed, drop a like. If you're new, subscribe. Until then, peace out.